Sprout Branches Out by Jessica Von Innerrebner. Somewhere in a little town, there is a small porch. This is where Sprout lives. She's only been able to grow two leaves and Sprout is always ready to tell the other plants why. It's not wild enough here. I should be in the woods where it's so wild I'd grow leaves on my chest. This nightlight doesn't exactly scream wild. I'd be, I need to be in the forest where the trees are bigger and wiser. Then I'd grow faster. When have we ever had a smart conversation? Maybe I'm not growing because I need gallons more water. No, I need all the water. Then one day something arrived that moved Sprout into action. She immediately packed up and took off to find the perfect place to grow. See you later. The wild woods were exactly what Sprout had in mind. Now this is more like it. I'll get my leaves on my chest in no time. You grow, girl. You should consider a leaf beard, too. But that night, Sprout realized it might be a bit too wild for her. She wanted the woods to put leaves on her chest, not make her shake like one. I think I wet my plants. Sorry you're not sticking around. Arriving in the forest, arriving in the tall, wise forest, Sprout was filled with hope. Wow, you are ginormous. With all that knowledge around her, Sprout knew she would grow bigger and faster than she could ever imagine. Let's dig in so you can hit a growth spurt. We'll start with math and square roots. Hold on, my roots are square? This forest was way past elementary for Sprout. Sprout, she wanted to grow fast, but not that fast. Maybe the jungle had what she needed. Do you want to be fronds? It was a warm and welcoming with plenty of water. Here comes the rain again. Yes, I need all the rain. But this was more rain than Sprout had ever seen. She wanted to drink water, not drown in it. None of these places were what she expected or needed. Sprout felt lost and very confused. She was supposed to be growing. What was going on? If you need to talk, I'm an unbelievable listener. I'm fine. But uh, why can't I find the right place to grow? Somewhere that's sort of wild, but not too dark at night, where I can learn and grow, but at my own pace. A place with just enough water. I don't actually need all the water. I don't know. I've never been somewhere like that, but it sounds like the perfect place. Then it hit her. Sprout knew exactly where she needed to be. The small porch in the little town had everything Sprout had been looking for all along. Holy Basil, it's good to be home. Welcome back, bud. It had taken an adventure, but Sprout had found her perfect place. And you know what? She really started to grow. The end.